It is estimated that the DO-24 rescued 12,000 people during its operational career. The Dornier DO-24 was a multi-role, center-hulled seaplane designed for maritime patrol and search and rescue and produced 313 examples between 1937 and 1945. It was designed to meet the demand of the Koninklijke K Marine, the Dutch Navy, for a new seaplane to replace the DO Val in the Dutch East Indies. It was one of the few Dornier aircraft not to use the classic tandem-mounted engine configuration in a tractor pusher configuration, using a more classic solution where the engines were mounted in nacelles directly on the wing. Initially, the three engines used were US-made Wright R1820F52 Cyclone radials, selected to meet Dutch specifications, which required the same type of motorization as the Martin 139s. Later, on the recommendation of the German authorities, the BMW Brahmo 323R2 engines were opted for, manufactured in Germany and capable of delivering 1,000 horsepower. The DO-24 could carry up to 1,200 kilograms of bombs under the wings and had three defensive turrets one on the nose, one on the back and one on the tail. Initially, each turret was armed with a machine gun, but later the dorsal turret housed a 20mm cannon. It was one of the few Luftwaffe aircraft to be equipped with a tail turret. Before June 1940, 37 examples were sent to the Dutch East Indies. However, with the German occupation of the Netherlands, where it was manufactured, the Germans showed interest by requisitioning all other aircraft ready for shipment and ordered more. This was because the seaplane demonstrated excellent emergency capabilities at sea, far surpassing both the previously used Heinkel HE-59 and the Blohm & Voss BV-138, which, with its steep hull walls, proved to be totally unsuitable for this purpose. The Germans deployed them in the Arctic, the Baltic, the North Sea, the Mediterranean and the Black Sea. They were also used as means of transport, particularly to maintain contact with the remaining troops in the Aegean Islands and Crete. After the Japanese invasion of the Dutch East Indies, the Dutch DO-24s were transferred to the Royal Australian Air Force in February 1942 and used as transport in New Guinea. The aircraft's extraordinary operational characteristics in the most hostile conditions earned it a place in history as one of the best oceanic seaplanes ever. So much so that even after the war it was used by France and Spain for sea rescue and mine detection, with Spain using it until the 1970s. In 1982, an experimental program by the German Federal Ministry converted a DO-24 into an amphibious craft called DO-24 ATT. The program aimed to demonstrate the oceanic capabilities of an amphibious aircraft using modern technology for rescue and surveillance at sea. But the project was cancelled and the aircraft consigned to a museum. In February 2004, Iron Dornier, grandson of Dornier's founder, Claudius Dornier, decided to restore the DO-24 at and make a round-the-world flight in it, retracing his grandfather's epic 1931 tour aboard a DOX. The aim was to raise awareness of the plight of children in the Philippines and to raise funds for UNICEF. The journey, which lasted 8 months and 24,000 miles, passed through 25 countries on five continents. Irene Dornier, and her crew, crossed oceans, deserts and mountains, encountering different cultures and peoples. The feat was a great success, garnering widespread media coverage and raising more than $1 million for UNICEF. The Dornier Du-24 was an iconic seaplane with exceptional sea rescue capabilities, saving some 12,000 people during its operational career.
Its adventurous history has made it an aviation symbol with an indelible mark on history, testifying to its versatility and value beyond its active service.